Today's video is very simple. Today we are answering the web's most asked questions about architects. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. Today we're turning our head towards Google and finding out what some of the biggest questions are about architects and architecture in 2021. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Let's start off with what do architects do? Um, well, we design either houses or commercial properties and we basically provide assistance from the start to the finish. That's the simplest way I can really answer it. Uh, we're a creative bunch of people that utilizes a whole bunch of different skill sets. Guess we're the jack of all trades. We're able to design creatively, but we're also able to solve very complex problems at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we do. What do architects wear? So I guess architects can wear absolutely anything. It's becoming more and more of a trend to push away from the formal suits and collared shirts and move more just to your casual jeans and t-shirt. Personally, I still like to wear an actual dress shirt and a suit every now and again. I try to stay away from the casual approach. I do have a lot more higher end clients, so they don't really enjoy you coming to their home or their business just dressed very casually, especially being a young architect. You get stereotypes all the time, so you try and stick to the stereotypical architect of a suit still. Uh, what do architects earn? Architects can earn anything really, and it depends how good you are as an architect. I guess from a personal point, architects can earn anywhere from 40,000, which is minimum wage, all the way up to half a million, if not even more, depending if you run your own firm. It's, yeah, it's a very broad spectrum. I guess the average architect in Australia earns anywhere where the average salary is. So I'd say that's about $70,000. Um, but yeah, architects can earn much, much more than that if they're good at their job and even more than that if they are running their own practice. What do architects charge? Um, easy. Architects charge either on an hourly basis or on a percentage fee. So you can charge on a percentage, be it two, three, four percent of the total value of construction. So if you have a million dollar project and you want to charge four percent for your services, your fee will be forty thousand dollars. It's kind of simple when you do a percentage. Alternatively, you can have a fixed fee, so somebody can come up to you and go, I have a million dollar project, and you know from experience that you're gonna charge anywhere from that three to four to five percent. So you just give them the fixed upfront costs of 40 grand, and hopefully all goes well, you make the money. If not, there are projects where you lose some money, but at the end of the day, you win some, you lose some. Okay, moving on to the next question. How do architects design houses? Um, I guess through skill, practice, experience um, yeah we design houses starting from the very basics of architecture solar passive design usually plays a big principle in it you want to really design a house based around what the client wants and their needs and then work around them so it is a very formal kind of dance between you and your client and understanding their wants their needs how they live how they move and then designing around that and then only adding the principles of architecture and construction into that to actually make it feasible so we are also, I guess, restricted by regulations and the government authorities. So there are some legal aspects to designing houses that most people aren't aware of. But at the end of the day, yeah, it really is about designing for that individual person. How do architects get clients? That is probably the hardest question anybody can ask an architect. It is a challenge. Getting clients, I guess, can come down to a magnitude of different things. You can go out, you can search the web, you can let a box drop if you wanna do it old school. I guess for me, it's all about social media content creation. It's all about putting yourself out there on the internet and making sure you rank higher on Google. So when somebody types in local architect or Perth architect or Albany architect or whatever they wanna type in, I'm gonna rank pretty high up or my business is gonna rank pretty high up. So for me, again, it's using social media and using my skills as an entrepreneur and everything I've developed over the past to be able to bring up all my architectural skills at the same time. For other people, word of mouth works really well. If you start off in a small community, you can work, do one really good job, word of mouth gets you the next job and so on and so on. I know plenty of business owners who've never spent a cent on social media advertising. They've literally just gotten all their work 
from word of mouth. So there is always that option. Okay, next question. When do architects get paid? Um, it depends if you work for a firm or if you work for yourself. If you work for a firm, whatever your pay roster is, I guess once a week, once a fortnight, once a month is pretty normal. Um, if you're running your own company, if you're running your own projects, you usually get paid in stages when a stage finishes. So you'll do sketch design where it's just the conceptual ideas, you'll get paid for that. You'll move on to the drawings for the council, you'll submit it, you'll get paid. You move on to the next stage, which is usually construction to really dumb it down. And then you get paid once those drawings are done. That's generally the principles of how architects get paid in their own business. It's you finish a stage, you get paid. When do architects retire? Uh, I don't know. I guess never. <laughs> Architecture is one of those professions that you can work till you're 90, you can work till you're 100. I guess you just kind of sit at a desk most days and walk out to site every now and again. So you have that ability to work as long as you physically can if you have to. I guess some architects will retire as soon as they make enough money to retire, others will do it forever because they're just so passionate about it. I guess it's a very, very difficult question to answer. Moving on to what architects, what architects make the most money? Simple, the architects that own their own practice. Architects usually make the most money running their own businesses as long as they're successful. Um, alternatively, the best paid architects are partners in the company, the ones that contribute the most. So if you're working your way up the corporate ladder, same as lawyers, same as accountants, same as everything else, architecture is very similar. You work your way up through associates, directors, partners, things like that. So the higher up in the company are, the more money you make at the start, not so great, but that's expected. Most graduates of architecture make very little. Most graduates of any real profession make very little. So once you're able to move up in the company, you will make more money and eventually make the most once you're at the top. What do architects do on a daily basis? Um, I actually made a video, Day in the Life of an Architect, so I'll link that down below if I remember. Otherwise, just search Day in the Life David Tomich and you will find what an architect does every single day, basically. What architects can do? Terrible English, but what architects can do is a variety of different things. I guess as an architect, you can design houses, you can design commercial properties, you can render 3D imagery, you can do 3D videography, you can do content creation, um, you can do architectural photography, you can get into video game design, you can get into cinema design. There's so much you can do as an architect because your skills are so transferable. You learn so, so much at university and then you take those skills and you learn even more when you get into the workplace. So. There's many architects that are working in Hollywood. There's many more that are working for some of the biggest gaming corporations in the world as well. So you can literally do almost anything as an architect and that goes back to the jack of all trades as I spoke before. Moving on to the next category and the last category I guess for today is can architects be rich? Yeah, of course. You can be rich in any profession as long as you are good at your profession or able to start your own business. I think personally speaking, by providing value to your company and by providing knowledge and things that they can't actually do without you, you're able to do a lot better than anybody else. So if you're looking to get rich as an architect, that's probably the best way. But generally speaking, architects don't make a lot of money unless they are pushing the boundaries. Can architects certify documents? Depends on the documents. There's some we can, there's some we can't. There's random things we can and there's random things we can't. So that's you gotta be a bit more specific with that one. Can architects work from home? Absolutely. COVID-19 really showed us that almost anybody can work from home as long as we have the right tools which we've developed. Architects, I think, can work remotely. They can work from home. They can work anywhere around the world if they want to. It's a really easy business to run. Well, that's a lie. It's a very difficult business to run. It's a very easy profession to do as long as you have the tools. So if you have a laptop that's powerful enough to run all your software, you can definitely work from home. That same laptop can be used anywhere around the world. Can architects sign stat decks? Uh, in Australia, I believe, yes, we can. Uh, can architects have tattoos? Again, in Australia, it's a discrimination thing, so you can definitely have tattoos in the workplace. Your employee may ask you to cover it up or not, but you can't not hire somebody because they have tattoos. That's just unethical. Um, can architects do interior design? Yes. Some, some not. It's, it is not something that we're specifically trained at. It's something that you get experience as you get better and as you get older and the more time you put into it. So if you wanna do interior architecture, that's a completely separate course at university in Australia, but architects do predominantly do a lot of interior design work as well. Can architects make millions? Can architects become millionaires? 
It seems to be a very big question about the architect profession. It seems like people just want to get rich in architecture. Um, like I mentioned before, yes, you can get rich, but you can get rich in any single field whatsoever. Like, you don't have to be an architect to be rich. You don't have to be a lawyer to be rich. You don't have to be a doctor to be rich. I know people that are social media influencers and have more money than some doctors I know. So it's really honestly about being the best at your role and just being driven enough to be able to be successful. If you're gonna sit back on your butt all day and just cruise through, you're not gonna be successful no matter what you do. So if you want to be successful, you have to go out and actually do the work. Otherwise, there's just genuinely no other way. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Today, we answered some of Google's most asked questions in regards to architects. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. It is February, so 28 videos in 28 days is almost coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed the series because we are still a couple days away from the end. I will see you tomorrow.